All right, so in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Ray Trace Glass in Unreal 4.7 and Unreal 5. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are with the final result of the Ray Trace Glass. And yeah, if we adjust the refraction here, we can see it changing on the glass on both the window and in the sphere. So let's start from scratch. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is make sure that we go to our settings, project settings, and enable ray tracing. So to do that, we need to type in ray tracing and make sure that ray tracing is checked on. We also need to type in RHI and make sure that the default RHI is set to DirectX 12 and that should be it. In our post-process volume, we're gonna have to set up some settings as well. Uh, so once the engine restarts, let's go into our post-process volume and let's type in ray tracing. And we'll see that we've got some of our ray tracing settings here, but not actually all of them. So ray tracing, ambient occlusion, I can check that on, on and off. That doesn't really matter or affect the glass at all. Uh, ray tracing global illumination, I have not enabled that, but we can turn that on and off to see what it is. I've already baked my lighting for this. So the only thing I'm really ray tracing is gonna be the ambient occlusion and the, the reflections. What we don't have here uh, is the option to turn them on and off. So so if I type in reflections, we'll see that I've got this reflections type ray tracing. And then I also need to type in translucency and we'll see that translucency, we've got ray tracing. So if I roll all of these up, uh, it is under rendering features. So under rendering features, if we expand ray trace ambient occlusion, we've got our settings for the ray trace ambient occlusion there. The global illumination, or ray trace global illumination rather. We've got the type there. Reflections, this is where we have the opportunity or option to change it from ray tracing to screen space. Ray trace reflections and ray trace translucency. So these are, are gonna be the options that we're gonna want to expand. Uh, I prefer to type in ray tracing or translucency or reflections, but there is a little caveat there. So the one thing that we do need to enable is the refraction. So if I turn off refraction here, we see that it breaks my material completely. So we do have to have ray tracing enabled and we've got to, in our post-process volume, uh, enable refraction. So just to go over, if you don't have a post-process volume, just type in post, drag one in. And once that's dragged in, you're gonna want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and make sure that infinite extent is checked on. So this uh, enables everything uh, and then we'll be able to get at those uh, post-process settings. So I've already got a post-process volume in here and we've got the glass here. Make sure we've uh, hit T for translucent selection. Uh, if I hit T again, that will toggle the translucent selection and I'll be able to select right on through there. So hit T, grab this, and uh, let's go ahead and make the glass. So I'm gonna make a new folder, all right? And we'll create a new material. I'll call this master glass. RT, and I'll duplicate that and create an instance right away called instance glass. All right, so I'm gonna assign the instance to my sphere, and let's go ahead and open up the master and get making it. So first thing we need to do is change the blend mode from opaque to translucent. Uh, the next thing I want to turn on two-sided, and the only other thing I need to do in the details here is change the lighting mode from volumetric non-directional to surface forward shading. You'll see that that now uh, opens up some of these settings that as soon as I changed it from a translucent from opaque to translucent, we'll see that these gray out, right? So in order to get those back, I do need to change this uh, lighting mode to surface forward shading, which is one of the most uh, heavy computationally speaking. So uh, let's create our parameters for this. So the parameters that we need are base color. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna right click on base color, promote to parameter, and that's going to create a parameter for me uh, that is named the input that I that I converted. All right, so the next thing, we don't need metallic by default is zero. Specular, we don't really need specular either, uh, but let's go ahead and promote that to a parameter. Let's promote uh, roughness to a parameter and let's promote opacity to a parameter. And lastly, we're gonna promote refraction to a parameter, okay? So base color, I'm gonna leave this default to black for glass. I like that this is black. I'll show that in a minute here. A specular and roughness and opacity, all of these are zero to one value. So I'm gonna click and drag on all of these. I mean, I'm gonna set their slider max to one. And that's just gonna say that I can't drag the slider past one. So for specular, I want the default value for my parameter to be one. Because these are parameters, we're gonna be able to change these values later. So. Uh, I'm just giving some default values and some min and max uh, settings here. 
Roughness, I want the roughness default value to be zero. Opacity, I want the default value to be 0.1, almost zero, but not complete. And then for refraction, I'm gonna set the slider max to three. And I'm actually gonna set this, the default value to one because I do wanna illustrate something. So if you just wanna get this working right away, set the refraction to 1.5, uh, but I wanna show something. So this is pretty much the setup for glass, for, for ray traced glass here in Unreal Engine. So I'm gonna close this out, we'll hit save. This again was our master. So now we have access to uh, the material instance. So if I open up the instance here, we see that we've got some parameters. So let's go ahead and turn all these parameters on and let's deselect our glass here. And we'll see that it's, something's happening, but it's not really working. And this is what I wanted to, to get at. So let's just make sure in our post-process volume, let's type in refraction. Uh, we do have refraction checked on, so we know that that's not the issue. The issue is our refraction value. And that's why I wanted to kind of show this. So refraction right now is set to 0.1. Uh, like I said, if I want it to work, I'm gonna type in 0.5, and now we see that our glass is working. Our reflections are upside down, which is correct on a sphere. As I move this around, we see that it's magnified. We've got, uh, again, upside down reflections here, and uh, everything's looking, looking good. Another thing we've got is we've got shadows um, being cast from the translucency, which is nice. So if I bring this over here, we see that this glass, and even the broken glass in the window, is, uh, is casting shadow. So yeah, so this refraction uh, setting, if I bring it back to one, we've just got nothing. I can kind of just kind of see right through it. Odd that that poster isn't showing up, but we can just see right through our glass. So if I bring the refraction value down, we'll see that we get this weird effect. Uh, so as soon as it gets to one, it's kind of like nothing is happening. And then as soon as I start to drag it over one, it kind of inverts on itself. And as we bring it uh, up here, I've just got it again, maxed out to three, but 1.5 is kind of the proper value for glass refraction or the IOR for glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my, uh, my default value there for the glass uh, to be that. Let's close this out and over here, I'm just gonna reset that should be 1.5 which is correct. And now I've got my glass looking pretty good. Now, a couple things to go over back in the post-process volume, some of those translucency settings. Uh, so if I go down, we'll notice that I have this max refraction ray set to four. If I bring it back down to three or the defaults, uh, we'll see that uh, there's two things. So here I've got my glass. And if I look at my window, kind of see it's uh, the window's black, right? So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and under ray trace reflections, I need to turn on include translucent objects. That doesn't really do anything. So what I need to do is I need to take the max refraction rays and just start to bump it up until uh, I get the things in my scene showing. So for me, it was just the include translucent objects and bringing the max refraction rays up to four. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. You know, these are the same settings um, for Unreal 5 uh, as they are for Unreal 4.7 and above. Yeah, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. All right, so that concludes how to set up ray trace glass in Unreal 4.7 and Unreal 5. If this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. You can download this scene for free as well. Link will be in the description below and that'll do it. Thanks so much and have a great day.